path along life's highway. So come and then we'll trot. Find the shoes of burden Christians who won't put the trust in God. Welcome to The Liberating Secret with your host, author and teacher, Sylvia Pierce. The Liberating Secret is dedicated to revealing the mystery of the gospel, which is Christ in you, the only hope of glory. Let's join Sylvia Pierce for today's lesson. Welcome to The Liberating Secret. My name is Sylvia Pierce, and I am so glad to be with you today. I have two special guests today, and you are just going to be so blessed by these two men. There's two great men of God, and actually they're um, on, on our right, you can see that uh, Brian Mason is there on our right, mm -hmm. and he is the director mm -hmm. of the Bible College of Wales, continuing with one of its lecturers, David Griffith. I love that. Yes, and uh, they're certainly friends of ours, and they've been guests in our home for uh, some days now. They've been to a conference that we've had, mm -hmm. and they have blessed us tremendously with the word of the Lord from Wales yes. and uh, actually the Bible college there in Wales began with Reese Howes yes. and he was an mm -hmm. intercessor during World War II. Maybe you all have read the book Reese Howes Intercessor by Norman Grubb. Mm -hmm. If you have, you're going to be blessed. You're going to find yes. out what true intercession mm -hmm. really is. So I would like to just turn this program over to these two yes. great men of God. So. Bless you, Sylvia. The Spirit of God is moving on this program. And I believe the Spirit is saying, Brian, mm -hmm. to keep the church out of the world. Mm -hmm. You see, the Spirit of God looks to anoint men and women mm -hmm. with the fullness of His power. But what comes against these men and women is all the... Uh, world distractions, commercialism, things going on behind the scenes. Now I believe we're mm. coming to a real end time revival, mm. not a commercially driven revival. Now Jesus prayed in John 17, he said, I pray not that thou shouldest taken them out of the world. So devil, we tell you right now, we're not going out of the world. We're not part of the world. We're not going out of the world. We walk in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus as the anointed men and women of God. And you are under our feet. But what we are here to do to declare that we are not, as the word says, of the world, even as Jesus is not of the world. Now there's an instruction, Brian, mm -hmm. in John 17, that the church needs to be sanctified. The word mm -hmm. declares, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. Now we know from the scripture, John 14, 6, that Jesus is truth. And what the world needs today to come out of this turmoil which has come upon us, this legalistic distraction, this whole principle of lack which is completely not of God because God has provided magnificently for this world. What has happened is people are being placed on the law because of the belief that there isn't enough food in the world, there isn't enough of whatever we need. That's not in the scripture. Our God has provided plentifully. What there is, is sin. And this sin, because I believe like in the old uh, worldwide evangelistic crusade motto, is that God is at war against sin forever. And so what we are looking to do in the Bible College of Wales is have a body of students all over the world. Yeah. Uh, and the director here, Brian Mason, has been led of the spirit yeah. to say that there shall be no tuition fees whatsoever. The scripture declares in Ephesians 4.11 that the fivefold ministry, prophets, apostles, evangelists, pastors, mm. teachers, are there to perfect the saints for the work of the ministry. 
And within this context must come the belief that sanctification, separation from this world, needs to be with the ministers of God so that they might fulfill their calling fully without the distraction of commercialism, which is what we've seen in so-called recent revivals. So Brian, I believe the Spirit of the Lord has a word to give through you. Yes. Jesus said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And yet, whilst I've been here in the United States of America, it has become clear that there is an enemy at work against making known the gospel to every creature. An enemy which is as great now as it was in the days of Reese Howells and the college that prayed against Hitler and the Second World War because that had come against everything of Satan had come against to try and prevent the gospel going to every creature. And it's just the same now, here. Listen to this in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19 so shall they fear the name of the Lord yeah. from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him and the enemy Satan himself has sought to come in in the United States and stand against God himself and that enemy is so subtle this time mm. it is not the full force of Hitler no it is through religion itself mm. and it is a religion which covers all religions it is one that is called, I dare to name it, universalism. That, that is a, out of the very pit of hell. Mm. The flames of hell are coming against the church of God. They're coming against Jesus Christ. Because he has dared to say that anyone, no matter who they are, whatever whatever religion or no religion they all they know to do they can do anything they can live as themselves they can live lives which do not honor god do not even accept god and they would still be considered that they will go to heaven but no that is definitely not the truth according to the declared word of god listen further Oh, we have a subtle devil who is being exposed. He has dared to come against Jesus Christ. He has dared to try and undermine the work of Jesus Christ and the making known of the gospel. Listen, from James chapter 2 and verse 19. Thou believest that there is one God, thou dost well. The devils also believe and tremble that the devil himself is now being exposed, being brought out into the open, that this cannot be hidden, this threat of the, to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why would Jesus Christ, why would God have sent his Son into this world if there was no need for him to die, to reconcile sinners unto God himself? You are a sinner in the sight of a holy God, no matter what you might think you are, unless you have been reconciled unto God through the blood of Jesus Christ, you are doomed to hell fire itself. Mm. 
take note, because God is still giving you a chance. You cannot come to God any other way but through the blood of Jesus Christ. Listen further from 1 John chapter 4. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the Spirit of Antichrist, Wherefore ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world, and the spirit of Antichrist is in the world through this universalism. And unless it is stood up against yes. and exposed now, it will spread throughout the world. Yes. And Satan, you have been exposed. Yes. You have been brought out into the light of Jesus Christ yes. and you shall not prevail yes. because Jesus Christ came into the world to destroy the works of the devil. Oh, listen, when Jesus spoke to Nicodemus, what did he say? Turn with me to St. John's Gospel, chapter 3, and see whether you meet these conditions, mm. whether you understand what is being said here. Yes. That it is God himself. God is a spirit. And the human mind cannot understand God without being brought into that position of the Spirit of God unless you have received revelation of God mm. you will never know God mm. at the moment unless you have been reconciled to God through Jesus Christ and his blood unless you have accepted that you are a hell deserving sinner yes. and are prepared to repent of your yes. sin then you are still under the God of this world, yes. who is Satan. Yes. And you are being given a chance to come to God to be reconciled. Absolutely. Listen to what Jesus Christ himself said to Nicodemus. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Nicodemus reconciled, he knew that there was a God, a God who worked. But he needed to know this God as a living God. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Have you, I challenge you, do you know what it is to be in the kingdom of God? Because if you don't, you are in the kingdom of heaven. Satan, yes. you are in the kingdom of hell, and when you leave this life, there is only one place for you to go, and that is to be cast into the fire of hell, because it still exists. The world will tell you there is no such place, but listen, it is in the word of God that there is a time coming when you will have to answer to God. You cannot come under your own conditions. No, because if you think 
through universalism, through what other faith or no faith, who is on the throne of your life? It is yourself. It is not God. And because of that, you do not even know God. Coming back, Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Are you remaining in the flesh? Or are you prepared to be born of the Spirit of God? And there's only one way, because Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, Hallelujah. and the life. Yes. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. No other religion, no works, nothing whatsoever. Don't dare leave anything to chance. No, God is calling you. He's giving you a chance and you either take it or you do not take it. But if you don't take it, it is yourself who has condemned yourself to hell and in eternity uh, outside of knowing God. Because remember in the scriptures, there was a poor man who fed off the scraps of a rich man called Lazarus. And the poor man, when he died, he went to heaven. And Lazarus, when he went, he died, he went to hell, and he was in the torments of hell. And he cried out that, oh, take me out of this. But no, there was such a gulf between the two. He said, let Abraham, let my brothers have a chance of hearing. No, they were not. But God is giving you the chance. And because God has brought me here today to speak to you, I am prepared to lay all on the altar to see the gospel goes to every creature, that universalism is torn down completely, is utterly and completely destroyed as much as anything in the past has stood against the spread of the gospel. And if it should God not destroy it, then, Lord, I prepared. Listen, O oh God, to these words that Moses cried unto you when the people of Israel had sinned, O oh God, and the people of America have sinned and are continuing to sin, O oh God. Mm. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, these people have sinned a great sin and have made them gods of gold. You have made your own gods. They may not be gods of gold, but anything about the God, outside the God given way unto himself, is a god of gold. Yet now, if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book, which thou hast written. Lord, should you not fulfill the gospel of going to every creature in the world, giving them every chance, dear Lord, to come to thee, blot me out of thy book, O God, Therefore now go, lead the people unto the place of which I have spoken thee. Behold, mine angel shall go before thee. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. Thy, if you have not repented, you shall be judged. 
Your sin is upon yourself. I declare, make yourself right with God and the only way through the blood of Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Acknowledge that you're a sinner. Cry unto God for mercy and for the cleansing of the blood of Jesus Christ. And then give your life wholly to God in service to God. Nothing of all this false stuff of religion or the social gospel or anything else which goes under the name of religion. That Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone will have the preeminence that every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now we stand on these things together in the name of Jesus. Now we're here with Sylvia Pierce, our liberating secret program. And we're declaring this today. The liberating secret was a book originally written by Norman Grubb. And he used to portray this truth himself. And I will prove it in a letter he wrote to my father many years ago. He said, I continue to pour out our living truth of us once being joined to Satan. Before a man is born again, he is joined to Satan. There is only one place in the scripture where Satan is going to go with all those joined to him and that is the lake of fire into hell. There is no place for those people in the kingdom of God because the only people who can come to heaven, the only people who can walk today in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus are those who have repented of their sin, accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior who are moving in the power and the glory and might of the Holy Spirit because the word declares clearly Brian in John 17 that the glory will fall upon those who have become separated from the God of this world who have become holy which is why Norman Grubb clearly said we were formerly walking Satan's but now, by the blood, by the grace of Jesus Christ, we are walking Christ. Meaning that we have become partakers of his divine nature. Meaning that no, we haven't become the creator of the universe. But what has happened is, for all those born again, they have the creator of the universe within them. For through Jesus, Jesus is described in Colossians as the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So, Sylvia, we hand back to you, knowing that this word is a powerful word given today, the liberating secret being Christ in us, the hope of glory. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I'm just so thankful, and I'm just, I, you know, the Holy Spirit is just moving yeah. mightily today because you're proclaiming mm. the gospel of Jesus yes. Christ exactly yes. why Jesus died on the yes. cross for us. Yes. And I think it's high time that we come back to our true foundation, yes. which is in Christ yeah. and Christ alone, mm. and realize that there has been mm. so much, there has been other gospels, yes. people have believed in other Jesuses. Yes. Now this is what we're built on in the yes. foundation. Mm. Now in the liberating secret, we build on that foundation, we do. which is that Christ be mm. formed in the, in the, in yes. the believer. And we do that. These gentlemen also teach that as well. The same we teaching that we teach on the Liberating Secret. Yes. So I thank you so much. And I, I hope that you will come back again. Yes. And be sure to share with us some more. This yes. exciting, wonderful, liberating mm. gospel. So Can I come you. with one last point, Sylvia? Yes. This no. is so important. Jesus prayed that they, meaning us, be one as the Father and the Son are one. That is what the blood of Jesus does when we are born again. Amen. Our sins are washed away. We are beautifully clean. And that the anointing of God is upon us as it was on Jesus in his earthly ministry. Yes. And the word declared that even greater things 
because mm. we are operating after the resurrection, That's Brian okay. and Sylvia. Mm. We're moving in mm. the greater things following them that believe. So we're talking about oneness, mm. just like First Corinthians says. Yes. He that is joined, joined to, to the Lord, Lord is one spirit. spirit. Amen. So that's what we're talking about. The same yeah. oneness that Jesus had yes. with his father. We now, as Christ yes. did one, Christians, yes. true Christians, bought yes. by the blood, yes. paid the price by Jesus, and yes. raised by the Holy Spirit. You see, now the Holy yes. Spirit walks in us in, in power yes. and wisdom that God has promised us. And the inheritance yes. that Paul talks about all yeah. the time is ours, freely given to yes. us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we just thank you so much Bless for joining thank with you us so today. Yeah. And we're going to yeah. come back again because we're going to get more out of these dynamic people that have come here to share this liberating truth. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. You have been listening to The Liberating Secret with Sylvia Pierce. We want to send a special thank you to all our supporters who make this program possible. If you have been blessed by this program and would like to contact Sylvia, you can write her at P.O. Box 43268, Louisville, Kentucky, 40253. That's Post Office Box 43268, Louisville, Kentucky, 40253. You can also find more of Sylvia's teachings on her website. The web address is www.theliberatingsecret.com. That's www.theliberatingsecret.com. Be sure to listen again right here Monday through Friday at the same time for The Liberating Secret with author and teacher Sylvia Pierce. So until next time, may God richly bless you. Not satisfied with your Christian walk? Experiencing self-condemnation? Has the liberation of the gospel faded away? Be honest. Are you tired of trying to fix, change, and rearrange yourself and calling that the Christian life? There is an answer. There is liberation. Jesus promises us joy unspeakable, full of glory, and all sufficiency for all things and all the fullness of God. Even though this inheritance is available to all Christians, Few experience this quality of life. The solution is not self-help or self-improvement or quick fix. It is Bible-based identity truth which sets you free. Interested in this liberating secret? Watch Sylvia Pierce on The Liberating Secret at spiritbroadcasting.net. Hear a life-changing message and let the Spirit reveal to you how to turn defeat into victory and self-condemnation into self-acceptance. God's way.